Students at Candler Elementary School are competing in their fourth annual math fair, and they're being judged to see who makes it to the district competition. And as you'll see in my Never Stop Learning, it's adding up to be a good year. I am more probable to have twins than Zanus. Mm -hmm. So. And affecting me, probably being a dad, I am sort of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Zane and Sadie's data shows when it comes to having twins, moms matter. The brother and sister wanted to see if there was a way to mathematically predict the impact family history has on producing twins. The project ideas come from questions students might have or things they're curious about. Like Kevin and Brooke, they research the food banks in our area. There's Kevin right there. Last year, the two won honorable mention at the state competition in Raleigh. They say they hope to go all the way again this year because math matters. I like to make up problems just in my head just to try to figure it out. And like in AIG, I love AIG, especially when we do a math unit because it just challenges me and it makes me think. Math is my favorite subject and in AIG, I like doing stuff in AIG because it's challenging and I just like being challenged. If you're wondering why I have a key for each one of them, my like results, conclusion, purpose, and all those, it's because there's a key to everything. Nothing is impossible. It's a key especially for ciphers. Lucas is showing the judges how you can use math to encrypt messages. The math fair is open to all students in grades K through fifth, and the winners here move on to the district competition in Inca. Wow. Smart kid. Oh, my gosh. So well-spoken. They're and, so smart. I know. I was just sitting there I, like... I love mm. it when it works. When you're doing the equation and you get... But when you don't have the answers and you can't figure it out, my brain just starts to sizzle. It just doesn't oh, work. it hurts. It's kind of like it, trying to figure out why the weather is going to be so...